Hey folks, time for seven minutes in the morning. Stick around. It is indeed that time of day where you and I get together every weekday morning, 7 a.m. That is the time. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning. Actually, it's 7.05, the clock right here says. Sorry about that. So, over the last few days, <laughs> our internet service has not been the best. I went on a, uh, I think it was Tuesday night, and I went on a Twitter, a Twitter tirade to try and get them to fix it. But they never answered me, and then I realized, oh, they can't answer me. Their internet's down too. Anyway... I got it figured out today. We are here nonetheless. So uh, this morning, I'm kind of continuing on the thought um, that comes from the sign over here on the wall. Stop letting life happen to you and start creating the life you crave. We've been picking that apart a little bit this week. And uh, last night, I had a great conversation in the Ideas Suck group at Coworking Night that helped expand that a little bit. I want to share some of that with you and then go on to one additional piece that we didn't get to last night. But before I get to that, if you are here, when you get here, if you would do me the favor of dropping a comment down there and just saying hi, let me know that you're here. That would be awesome. I always enjoy seeing that. And in fact, had a, uh, had a message this morning, had a, uh, um, yeah, got a, a, a Facebook message this morning from a listener in Germany. Hang on just a minute. I know this is, um, this is, this is challenging. I neglected, I did, I neglected to write down his name, but I want to give him proper credit where credit is due, uh, because it's always awesome uh, hearing from our listeners. Man, I'm not going to be able to get it. Here we go. Always awesome to hear from you. And I want to make sure that I get this question answered correctly because it's a good one. It's from Ulrich and he is in Germany. Thank you so much for listening, Ulrich. And the question was about the coffee shop show. I mentioned that yesterday here and then a lot of you watch the coffee shop show also. One of the things that I do is seven minutes in the morning, in addition to doing the videos, I pump it out over uh, iTunes, Stitcher, and whatnot. So you may be listening to it in your podcatcher. You may be watching it on Facebook, might be seeing it on YouTube. I'm trying to put it all the places where you might see it so that it's convenient for you. But Oric had a question about the coffee shop show. He says he listens to seven minutes in the morning on iTunes, but coffee shop show doesn't show up there. Could we work on that? So... Yes, I'm going to work on that. See what we can do to get that out there. Thanks for that question, Ori, and for uh, reaching out. If you're listening on iTunes or Stitcher, I'd still love to hear from you. Head over to, here's the easiest way to get to me, tomrigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right Facebook page. And uh, just drop me a message there. Let me know that you're watching, listening, uh, or enjoying the show. All of those help. All right. So here we go, uh, and good morning to you, Brooke. Thanks for saying hi. So um, the, the, the quote, the phrase, the, uh, the encouragement we've been working on this week, stop letting life happen to you, start creating the life you crave. So I asked the group last night, how do you know if life is happening to you? What are some of the clues that might be an indication that you're letting life happen to you? And I think the best one that came out of that was... Having a sense of overwhelm. I mean, there's you can have a lot to do, but if you just if if things just seem overwhelming, they're so big that you you don't even know where to begin, where to start. That might be a pretty good indication that you're not in control. Now we we had a nice long and thoughtful discussion last night about what it means to be in control. And there are a lot of things that are outside of our control. There are contextual things that happen that we can't control. It might rain today. It might, um, you know, all kinds of things might happen. What we can control 
is our response to those circumstances. And our response to those circumstances create our how, how we are working to get that outcome that we are looking for, but it doesn't change our why. But all too often, and this, this is the problem that's created for a lot of people, all too often we don't know what our why is. We're just doing our what. And I'm trying to be the best what doer there is, right? Whether that's answering email, painting houses, raking leaves, whatever. Right? I'm trying to be the best one that there is, but with no real outcome, no real goal set in mind. And so when you do that, then you can gain this sense of overwhelm. Overwhelm becomes depressing, and then you don't get anything done. So if you are or have experienced a sense of overwhelm, first thing I would suggest to you is examine why you are working the way that you are working, doing the work that you're doing, working on the project you're working on. Right? We all we all need to work. We have an innate need to to create, to move, to to make progress, right? Movement toward a goal. But if you don't know what the goal is, or if you can't articulate it, and then we had fantastic discussion last night also about being honest and truthful with yourself, right? about what the real goal is. We spend a lot of time on differentiating between replacing my income and having the freedom to spend more time with my kids. Right? One of those is a goal, the other one is a why. All right? So just make sure that you understand what that why is. The why, if the goal is to spend more time with your kids, and uh, if, if the why is to spend more time with your kids and the goal is to replace your income, maybe you can spend more time with the kids without replacing the income. I don't know. I mean, it, it's that sort of thing that you have to think through, right? And definitely the kind of things that, I don't know, maybe a coach can help you think through. All right, but here's the other thing that I wanted to get to that we didn't really have. Um, we, we just barely scratched the surface of this last night, but it's integration, Right, and, and this is exactly what we're talking about here. Knowing what the why, knowing is not enough. Right, knowing is not enough. Success requires action. I haven't heard that from me in a long time. In this case, success requires integration. I have to integrate my why with what I do every day. Right, it's not good enough for me to have. All, all the, the vision cards up here on the wall to have these motivational statements to, to, to go through a, a lengthy exercise to figure out my why and then not bother to integrate it in my day to day. If I don't integrate it, then it's never going to happen. So integration then becomes the big tool. How are the, or yeah, the tool. How do you do that? How do you integrate that? Well, the way that I've chosen to do it and it works well with me right here in this book right so i start the day with gratitude today i'm grateful for and then right underneath that somewhere today i intend to right i intend to statement is my way of integrating this goal that i'm pursuing into the day it reminds me of that so i begin the day being thankful for someone something else and then i begin looking at from my big picture perspective, I intend to do X, Y, or Z. And then below that, I've got my priority for the day and the four things I want to focus on. That's how I plan the day. And it, it serves to remind us. So I, I shared with you earlier in the week, Brian Tracy said, writing a goal down makes it 80% more likely to happen. Writing it down, integrating it into your day every day, has got to be higher than 80%. So try that, all right? So what are the symptoms of, of life happening to you? The best one, I believe, is overwhelm. If you are experiencing overwhelm, get back to that idea of why and then integrate it into your day. Make sure that you are refocusing on that in some way, in some form, every day, all right? Today is Thursday. Normally, Friday is free coaching Friday, but this week, taking Friday off. Not not going to be with you tomorrow. I apologize, but we are going to be on the road traveling tomorrow. Uh, I will be back most of next week, I think. We'll see how that goes. I'll definitely be back on the air Monday, so be sure and join me then. 
Until then, you have a fantastic weekend. Send me those uh, likes. Remember to follow here so you can get updated uh, when I am online. If you have questions, something you'd like for me to cover on Free Coaching Friday, go ahead and send me a message. We'll handle that one-on-one. All right. Have a great weekend. Talk to you Monday. Take care.